today, most every camera has it built in, but I'll show you how focus stacking works if you want to do it manually, and then I'll show you how to do the, the automated one. This is up in uh, Banff, and I got these cracks in the ice. So I'm out there in the ice, and I'm already nervous. So I don't want to fall through the cracks in the ice. But I want these cracks on the front to be in focus, and I want the mountain to be in focus in the back. So I focus on the cracks. Yep, deadly sharp. Let's look at the mountain. Uh-oh, how do I get the stuff in front and in back to all be in sharp focus? You're gonna use a feature on your camera called focus stacking. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take three, four, five shots. I'll take four in this example. We're gonna focus our camera right on the crack right there. Focus right there and then take the shot. Click, that's our first shot. Then you're gonna take your thumb wheel or whatever you use on the back of your camera to move the focus point a little further into the shot. And then you're gonna take a second shot. You're gonna focus there and take a second shot. You're on a tripod, nothing's moving. This will all come together great. Let's go further down. Let's go to those trees way down in the distance and let's focus there and then take that shot. So that's your third shot. And then you're gonna go way up here to the top of the mountain and you're gonna take another shot there. So you've taken four shots and each one of them is a little further focused into your image. Now, that's the manual way to do it, but all of these cameras today, Sony, Canon, OM System, Nikon, Fuji, everybody has built in focus bracketing. They can either call it focus stacking or focus bracketing, but that's what it is. Now, once you have those done, how do you put them into one photo where everything's in focus? You're gonna go to Photoshop and do a bunch of masking? No, you're gonna go to Photoshop but you're gonna let Photoshop do most of the work for you. Photoshop will actually analyze all of the four images and then put them together and mask them automatically so only the sharp spots show. Here's how it works. So we're gonna open up all four images. Here's one, there's two, three, four. There's all four of them, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna go under scripts and we're gonna choose load files into stack. All that really is going to do is take all four photos and put them into uh, put each one into a layer. Choose Add, Open Files, and then if you handheld, you could turn on Attempt to automatically align them. Click OK and watch over to your right. You're going to see them appear. There they are, and they are all right. So they're all there. You're going to now select all four of them. One, and you're going to hold the Shift key and select. So all four of them. Then you're gonna go up here under the uh, image menu. You're gonna go to auto blend layers, auto blend layers. And, and look, there's one of the choices is stack images. Turn on seamless tones and color, why would you not? Give it a few seconds <coughs> and it's gonna work its magic. It's gonna evaluate each photo and then it's only going to show, watch. Give it a second, it's almost done. There we go. Everything is now sharp from front to back. Look, crack is sharp, mountain sharp. Everything's sharp. And look at the masks that built over there in the layers panel, right? It built all these masks for you. How cool is that? To where it only shows the sharp parts of each one. And then, you know, when you're done, you can just flatten it. And voila, that, my friends, is focus stacking. Hey, Eric Kona here, one of your instructors for the Travel Photography Conference, and I can't wait to be teaching alongside some of the best in the industry. Go over to kelby1live.com and learn more. I hope to see you there.